Greetings everyone, I'm Dr. Anth. How do archaeologists and paleoanthropologists find sites to explore and excavate? Let's find out. We will begin with how the most ancient sites are found by paleoanthropologists. Taphonomy. What does that mean? Taphonomy is the process of site formation over time. For instance, two million years ago, there was a watering hole in East Africa. The water is placid and the bottom is muddy. Animals and our ancestors come to drink. Sometimes they die, falling into the muddy bottom of the pond. An elephant might walk on the body, breaking bones and crushing the body further into the mud. Fish and other organisms feed on the flesh. Over a very long time, the minerals in the water replace the minerals in the bone, gradually turning the skeleton to rock. As the centuries pass, the watering hole gradually dries up. Silt and sand layers pile up. Ash from a volcanic eruption forms another layer, or two, or three, over time. Across the two million years, there are many environmental changes that result in the buildup of different layers of rock and soil. At some point during that time, an earthquake occurs, which rips apart the ground, exposing the deeper layers. Today, a paleoanthropologist and her team, which includes a geologist, begin to explore a valley where ancient ground levels are exposed. As they walk, they carefully study the ground and the walls of the valley. They are looking for sharp-edged rocks that might be stone tools, and they are also looking for the bones of animals. This is called a surface survey. The team walks about two meters apart, carefully collecting anything that is of interest. When they begin to find the bones of a wildebeest, a baboon, and a turtle, the team realizes that they found an ancient watering hole. At this point, they determine the extent of the watering hole and focus their efforts on that area. If they are especially fortunate, they might find the bones of a human ancestor eroding out of the ground. This is pretty much the way in which Lucy, the famous Australopithecus afarensis, was found. It is also how the Tracana boy, Homo erectus, was found. With practice, paleoanthropologists and archaeologists can easily spot the stone tools and the bones on the ground and eroding from the valley walls. The average person walking the same area would miss these important clues to our past. In the next video, I will discuss more ways and places archaeologists find sites. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.